Hey everyone, James here, and if you're going to school with hopes of working in the music industry, then this video is for you. Right off the bat, I want you to know that I'm a college graduate. I don't say that to brag or boast, but just to be honest with you about where I'm coming from. I have a four-year degree in music business from Ferris State University, and when I look back on that time in my life, I'm fairly happy with it. Not because of what I learned in the classroom so much as what I was afforded by the opportunity of being in college, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. You see, not only is college incredibly expensive, which it is, I'm still paying off my student loans from a decade ago, but there's virtually no guarantee that you're actually going to get the job that you want. People used to say that, they used to say that you had to go to college to get the job of your dreams, but they never say that college doesn't guarantee you admission into that career field. In fact, of the 200 and some people I graduated with, only about a dozen of us are working in the industry today. And if you include people who freelance or who occasionally work in the industry, that number rises to maybe 25 or 30 out of 200. So if you get ahead, it's not because of college, it's because of how you use your time. What college offers that no other path to success in the music industry can is time. You will never be more free than you are right now. And if you go to college, you will have two to four more years of freedom to chase your passion with everything you have. Those that choose to not go to college, they have to get into the job field right away. Most of them don't find work in music right out of high school. It's just not something that really happens, especially these days. So what ends up happening is that they work 40 hours a week or more, start paying bills, and they get so bogged down by regular life that the time allowed to chase their actual passion is very limited. But if you go to school, whole different story. Suddenly, everything you do for the next two to four years is all about music. It's about your passion. Maybe some of the classes are on other subjects. There's always a few prerequisites. But the majority of your time can be spent doing exactly what you love. And in the long run, that's where the difference is made. Your professors would hate to hear me say this, but in my decade of experience in the industry and the six to seven jobs I've had in that time, no one has ever asked me what my GPA was. In fact, nobody has ever even asked what I learned in the classes that I took. Employers don't care about the classes you take as much as how you apply the knowledge your degree claims that you gained. I may seem corny to say, but the show in show business applies to professionals as much as it does artists. You need to show how you use your knowledge. The next four years are going to shove so much information into your brain that it may be hard to contain it all, but unless you actually start applying it in some way, shape, or form, it's ultimately not going to do you any good. People don't want to hire folks who have no experience. They want you to have some understanding of how to apply the lessons that you've been taught, and that's what this time in college is for. College also offers you a wonderful opportunity to network. Not just with people in the industry, which you should absolutely do, but with other people your age. I don't know how many people are gonna be in your class, maybe 10 or 50, 100, 1,000, who knows? The fact of it remains that there will be people just like you who are just as passionate about music as you are, and together you could do some really great things. Maybe you never actually work together in some way, but you can build each other up, you can learn the ins and outs of the industry, you can talk to them, you can learn to see things from a different perspective, and you'll build relationships that may last a lifetime. And when it comes to networking with people actually working in the music industry, don't look at it as a way to find a job later on in life, but rather as a way to learn what it takes to have a job in this industry. There are far more people who dream of working in music than there are people working in music full time. So find people who do have jobs and figure out what it is that makes them tick. How do they do what they do so well that people wanna pay them to do it full time? There are probably specific skill sets for whatever job it is you want to chase that you would never have thought or needed, but these people can open your eyes to the realities of working in the industry today. Lastly, you need to use this time to understand the industry at large. I know that there's something that you want to do in this industry, and it's probably very specific. Maybe you want to manage a certain kind of band, or you want to own your own record label. Whatever it happens to be, you can benefit a lot from understanding how the whole ecosystem of music works, because it all works together to create successful stars. As a very simple example, a year ago, no one would have guessed that TikTok would be responsible for the biggest star of 2019. But here we are with Lil Nas X setting a record for the longest running number one single on the Billboard charts. Most people in the industry today don't know how that happened. We don't understand how TikTok works yet, but people who get jobs in 2020 and beyond, they're gonna be expected to understand what TikTok is, how it works, how it's influencing culture, and how they can make an artist more popular through TikTok. That's just one example, and there are hundreds like this. Whatever field you wanna be in, there are things shaping the future of that niche of the industry that you need to understand before you start applying for jobs. Because when you sit down, people are gonna ask you what it is that you bring to the table, and you want to be able to tell them that you see where things are going, and you know how to help them get there. 
If you can't do that, no amount of education is gonna be enough. To be clear, I think you should go to college. I know that it's very expensive. I know that there's no guarantee of success and that there are way more people with degrees than people with full-time employment, especially in the music industry. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go because if you're passionate about music, then there is no other time in your life where you will be afforded the opportunity to succeed like you are by going to college. You have two to four years to chase your passion with everything in you, with nothing holding you back. Every hour of the day, music music business, music production, music marketing, whatever it is you wanna do, you can focus on that fiercely for all the time that you have in college. And when you come out, if you've used your time wisely, there will be a position waiting for you in this industry. I can't tell you if it will be full time, I can't tell you if it'll be the position that you dreamed of when you started college, but there will be people who want to work with you because you will have shown that you're more than just a dreamer. You're somebody who applies their knowledge, you've learned, you have experience, and you're ready to shape the future of this industry. And if you want to learn even more about music, well, guess what? This channel is for that. So please click the subscribe button down below because I bring you a ton of content every single week all about succeeding in the music business. We look at trends, we look at marketing tips, we look at everything. So please click that button. I also want to ask that you check out our sponsor. Music Biz 101 is brought to you by Holix, the industry standard for promotion. If you want to work in this industry, you need to know Holix. So please head over to holix.com today and start a free trial. And if you've done both those things or none of those things, I can't really control your life. I do want to ask that you take care of yourself because you deserve it.